Hi. Every week or the other, we at Civil Era keep on discussing on various structural topics posted by our students or any other general students who have doubts in structural engineering. So here in this video, we are going to discuss yet another doubt from a student. Hi all, this is Premjit here from civilera.com. If you remember in one of our previous videos, we had discussed about loading on formwork and in the same query, the student had asked one more question. And the question is about soft story and I will try to answer the question in this video. So I'll be talking about two things here which are closely related. One is on soft story and the other is on weak story. So we are going to discuss both the closes in this particular video as per 1893-2016. So here I have a picture here. So imagine a building where you have stilt floor and you have upper floors like this. So here you have parking and if, if you look at any building adopting my one construction technology, you can understand that all the upper levels may be RC walls and then your lower level may have columns because of the stilt, because of the parking requirement. So in such cases, your lower level is extremely weak and your upper level is very stiff. So now this is just like having a very weak leg and a very strong body. When someone pushes you, your body is rigid and you are not able to be in stability. So the same thing happens for the building where you have a very higher stiffness at the upper level. So this condition is a soft story. Your lower level is soft, we call it. Please note that the same situation, this situation or this condition of the structure can create both weak story as well as soft story. Let's first see what the code says for weak story and then later let's also see what the code mentions for the soft story. So you need to ideally not have the situation, we need to design it or scheme it in a better way. So if you want, you can look at the code provisions for this. IS 1893-2016 is more stringent towards this 1893-2002 was a bit more liberal than what we have right now. So if you want, you can go and check the code. So let me just quickly take the code. So if you see here in page 16, it says, a weak story is a story whose lateral strength is less than that of the story above. So now there is no other definition. It's just saying that if the lateral strength is less than the story above, then it is a weak story. It, earlier there was a definition based on percentage of difference in the stiffness, but now it's just saying that if the lateral strength is less than that of the above story, then it is soft story. So we have to ideally avoid the situation. So that's what the code says. In such a case, building in seismic zone 3, 4 and 5 shall be designed such that safety of the building is not jeopardized. So it's not saying how you need to attend it exactly, but it's saying that safety should not be endangered. So provisions of 7.10 shall be followed. So if you go to 7.10, it just tells you to be geometrically correct. Buildings with simple regular geometry and uniformly distributed mass and stiffness in plan and in elevation suffer much less damage than buildings with irregular configurations. So it's asking you to be adhering to regular configuration. All efforts shall be made to eliminate irregularities by modifying architectural planning and structural configuration. So this is what you need to do. A building shall be considered to be irregular for the purposes of the standard even if any one of the following conditions in 5 or 6 are applicable. So it's saying that if it's an irregular building you have to do a dynamic response spectrum or time history analysis and you have to meet the requirement as per that analysis. So that's what you can do. It's asking you to be geometrically right and modify the architectural plan in case of irregularities. So here you can see it's also explaining in terms of a diagram what is a soft story. So here you can see in the lower level your height is more. When the height of your column is more then it is less stiff. 
your upper levels are more stiff because of the shorter effective length of the columns so stiffness is a property depending upon the spans or heights in this case as well as on the sizes so here the height is more in the lower level which means this could be less stiff which means it's soft here you have floating columns the same conditions you have more columns and more number of columns and it is a floating column as well so that can create a soft story at the lower level so here you have a soft story in between the floors fourth floor or third floor here is less stiff so these are all conditions that will qualify to be called as soft story now you may wonder why i started off with weak story and then just now explained about soft story showing the diagram so if you look at the weak story strength irregularity the conditions that will create a weak story is exactly similar to what i explained in soft story the only difference is that in one case it will create a strength difference and in the other stiffness difference and both are more likely to occur simultaneously as well in such situations so the conditions are similar but the code slightly differentiates the way that you need to tackle so i'll be explaining both first let me tell you how the code tells you to deal the weak story now how do you need to attend i have already told you you have to do good configuration of the building now in zone 2 what you need to do in zone 3 4 and 5 it advises you to do that as per 7.1 and if it is zone 2 it doesn't bars you doing that by stating it very specifically but then i suggest you avoid irregularity of that kind even in zone 2 or at the least do a dynamic analysis even if the building is in zone 2 now a bit about the soft story how the code ask you to tackle that in case of its presence or in case if we can't avoid that again by the definition is soft story is a story whose lateral stiffness is less than that of the story above so even the previous code the old code 1893 2002 had slightly liberal close than this where it allowed certain amount of stiffness difference now here it doesn't allow at all now it says that the structural plan density shall be estimated when unreinforced masonry infills are used this is uh, mention about the infill walls not about rc walls you may have a condition where you have an open stilt and upper levels are just infill panels like brick walls so in such cases you have to estimate the plan density and if the masonry infill exceeds 20% then the unreinforced masonry infill shall be considered in the model what it means is that you have to take the effect of that particular walls the infill panels that you have to model that in your etabs so there are methods that we can adopt to model or bring in that stiffness of the wall into the analysis so it, it has to be done is what the code say so how to do it we will not cover in this particular video but then it's all available in our courses upcoming courses on advanced design of structures so it says that the design forces in the rc members shall be larger of that obtained from analysis of bare frame and the one with the infill panels included so you have to do two analysis one without infill panels as usual and then you have to compare the forces with the other model where you already have modeled the infill panels and the maximum value has to be taken so that's what the code ask you to do for stiffness variations that if you look at the earlier code that is 1893 2002 it has a condition which says that dynamic analysis of building is carried out that is one option and alternatively it also had given you an option to design the columns and beams of the soft story for a force 2.5 times more than the story shares and moments calculated under seismic conditions now the new code is not talking about this particular condition but still i just thought it's good to point out that the old code had this particular conditions there is one more anyways you can read this and understand that this is not really relevant right now but some of the consultants still does this in zone 2 buildings 
the ideal thing to do is to avoid any kind of irregularities soft story being a very important irregularity that we should try to avoid so thanks for watching i hope you learned a bit from this video keep watching our space www.civilera.com and the forum and the blog in it in addition to the youtube video so thank you again